A relational database is your only option for the memory of your app. Well, no, you could also use NoSQL databases. NoSQL databases literally stands for non-SQL, which means that they're usually newer, but also don't all work the same. There are many different NoSQL flavors, each optimized for a different use case. We'll focus on key value and documents today. So key value stores are a simple pair, a key and a value, which allows for lightning fast lookups. Imagine if you had an Excel table that only had one page and two columns. So for example, if you're using a social media app with a lot of different users, you might want to limit the amount of requests you make to your main database, if it's a relational database. And so you could store inf important information like who the user is, what their profile image is, as a value associated to a specific key like the session. And just for reference, Twitter uses a strategy like this using Redis to cache their timelines and allows them to have 30 million queries per second. Document stores, on the other hand, are used for their flexible schema. So when you don't really want to have a set list of columns that need to be filled out. So for example, they're perfect for storing things like profile data that changes. For example, like some of them have a description, some of them have some kind of call to action button. Sometimes they have more links. You can organize that all inside your JSON-like document. Or for posts where you might have a carousel of images with a, a description versus another post that is just a video. Another example is Spotify. They leveraged MongoDB, which is a document store, for their massive user preference data set. They also use it for their real-time recommendations. And that's a quick view on key value and document stores. Come back tomorrow where we talk about the other types of NoSQL databases.